Welcome to Japan Issues. As the debate on the revision of the imperial household law is about to begin, a variety of maneuverings are taking place behind the scenes. Currently, approximately 80% of the Japanese public approve of the idea of a female emperor. A Maenichi Shimbun survey conducted on May 3 found 79.6% in favor of a female emperor. A Nikkei survey on May 13 found 76%, and a Senki Shimbun survey on May 14 found 78.3% in favor of a female emperor. Such high support has continued for almost a generation over the past 30 years. Article 1 of Japan's constitution states that the emperor's position is based on the consensus of the people, and if this is followed, there are few obstacles to the realization of a female emperor. The realization of a female emperor does not necessarily mean the birth of Emperor Aiko. Discussions on the revision of the imperial household law are scheduled to begin this fall. After confirming that the current order of succession to the throne, That is, first, Crown Prince Akishino, second, Prince Hisahito, and third, His Imperial Highness Prince Hitachi. Will be maintained, it is expected that the issue of a female emperor or a female lineage emperor will be considered. In this case, even if a female emperor were to be approved, there would be no Emperor Aiko, since the rule would effectively be applied from the generation following that of Prince Hisahito. Of course, it is clear that the reason for this two tiered debate is to avoid a confrontation between Princess Aiko and Prince Hisahito, as well as the existence of the persistent male lineage male emperor theory. Moreover, there is a view that it is for giving careful consideration to how Empress Masako would feel. Everyone involved fully understands that expectations for Emperor Aiko are rising. However, There are some politicians who believe that the emperor's family is not positive about Aiko's accession to the throne. It is because of their guess that Empress Masako, in particular, still has vivid memories of the bashing she suffered, and she may be worried that Aiko would have to go through the same experience as her. In addition, the following statement by an imperial household agency source is also reported. Emperor Emeritus and his wife Machiko have expressed their support for a female emperor for Princess Aiko. On the other hand, His Majesty the Emperor and Empress Masako have not been willing to talk about the future of Princess Aiko. Meanwhile, the Akishino family is in a state of major commitment to the accession of Prince Hisahito to the throne. It is well known that Princess Kiko of the Akisano family has been motivated by her strong desire to make her son Hisahito the emperor. However, with the revelation of the case involving Mako and Kei Kamuro, the popularity of the Akishino family has waned, and the public now overwhelmingly favors Aiko as emperor over Hisahito. The debate over the succession to the imperial throne is expected to become even more intense in the future. A journalist who is familiar with the issue offers the following predictions for the future. There is a strong desire on the part of Kiko and some government party to nip the possibility of Emperor Aiko in the bud. However, we cannot avoid discussing Emperor Aiko, who has extremely strong public support. It will depend on public opinion, but it is believed that the possibility of Emperor Aiko remains. The longing for Emperor Aiko is now being openly voiced. Perhaps it is Empress Masako who is most perplexed by this. With the birth of Hisahito, the debate over a female emperor should have ended. However, given the recent turmoil around the Akishino family involving the Mako K. Kamuro issue, and the successful activities of the emperor and his family. It is only natural that people have high hopes for Princess Aiko. That is all from the Imperial News Online News.